animals. We're going to start with legs. So I'm going to show you penguin, pig, dog, elephant, and horse. First of all, any time that you are doing more than one body part that you want the same size, you need to start off with two or four or three or how many pieces you're making of clay that are the same size. So I'm going to start off with two balls of clay that are going to be my penguin's feet. Here's my penguin's body. I'm going to smash this. Then I'm going to take a clay tool, tool and I'm going to cut two lines at an angle on each foot. Then I'm going to separate those pieces and squeeze those together. So I've got some penguin toes here. And penguins, you don't really see their, their little fat legs so much because they're so fat. Now I'm going to a bigger body. I've got to score the bottom of my body here. Put some slip on it. Score the feet. I'm going to place those two feet together where I want them. And then I'm going to lay my body on top. And I'm going to smooth those in. Now he's a little wobbly and the next step will be to put a tail on him so that he has a tripod. My next animal is a pig and I have four balls of clay. I made my four balls first so I got the same size. I noticed that these two are not quite the same size so I'm going to take a little bit off of this one. Round that again and the way to make a cylinder is to make a ball of clay, take two fingers at the top and then I'm turning this ball of clay as I'm pinching from the top I'm adding a little pressure on the side so that I create a cylinder it's a little short fat cylinder there for the leg and here's my little pig body so I'm going to score for my four legs of my fat little piggy now I like to have these legs kind of come out the side a little bit so I'm going to cut off a little wedge of clay here you don't have to do this part, but I like to do this part so that they sit on there a little bit more naturally. Just cut off a little wedge of clay so that now it's a cylinder, but it's thinner on one side. Then I'm going to score and slip. Always, 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 always score and slip. What do you do? Score and slip. What? Score and slip. Score and slip. Always score and slip. Then I'm going to put my slip here. And my clay is pretty plastic, so it's going to stick really well. And then I'm going to put my little legs on. And that wedge, I'm putting the wedge on the inside towards the belly so he sits on there. Then I'm going to take a tool and I'm going to smooth it in just a little bit. So there I have little short, fat legs. The next one is going to be a dog. Now mammals, dogs, cats, lions, any mammal has some similar characteristics. And one of the characteristics of a, a mammal is that their back legs are wide. This would be the same for a rabbit too. And the way I'm going to make these is like a so. I'm going to start with two balls of clay because I want to make sure that both of my legs are the same size. You don't have to make them the same size. If you want to make a really, wack really wackadoodle looking animal, then you can make them different sizes. Works nicely with the eyes. Makes them look totally crazy if their eyes aren't the same size. Then I'm going to make a teardrop. And I'm not going to make this end, the skinny end, I'm not going to make it really, 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 really skinny. I'm just going to make it rounded out. And I'm going to make this teardrop long and skinny, and then I'm going to press it in on the sides. I, I notice a lot of students like to lay out a flat piece of clay and cut out the shape that they want. That's okay, but I think this is a, a more efficient way of doing it. When you cut it out, it tends to stick to the table. And you can try that, but you always need to smooth out the edges anyway. So now I've got a long, two long teardrops, two long teardrops. And I'm going to turn those, actually I'm going to make this even longer through here because this is the foot. This part here is the foot. I'm going to make sure I have them the same shape, same size. Then I'm going to turn it on its side. I'm going to press down here and I'm going to lift that up. 
and that's going to give me a leg, a leg and a foot. So now I'm going to attach on my dog score some more. Let's see where I'm at here. Score on this side. Put my slip, slip, and attach my legs here, my back legs, two paws coming out. Don't want them. I want them to kind of match a little bit on the back there. Notice this one's way fatter. I could come in and, and take some of that off. All right, so I'm going to start off my two pieces of clay about the same size. Then I'm going to round them out into a ball. And then I'm going to make two little cylind or two little um, uh, uh, coils. A coil is when you roll it out flat. And these are going to be the paws on the front, the front paws. So I'm going to set those coming out right here. He's going to kind of balance him out a little bit so he's sitting down on his haunches like that. Score underneath here. Score underneath here. And then I'm going to add my slip and attach those on like a so. And I need to smooth those in just a little bit so they stick on there. I'll come back later and smooth on some more. My elephant. The elephant is going to be similar to the pig, except I want him to have even bigger, fatter legs. So I need a little bit more clay here because I need four balls of clay that are about the same size. And you want to exaggerate. Whenever possible, exaggerate the size, the, the characteristics of your animal. So an elephant is really big. So I'm going to make four balls of clay, about the same size, for his big fat elephant legs. Now I'm going to round it out, and then I'm going to kind of tap it on my table, round it out some more, tap it a little bit. And then do each one of those. And I'm going to make all four before I attach anything at all. Because I want to make sure that I've got them all the same. Now I'm going to make my elephant's legs taper a little bit. So I'm going to start making them just a little bit thinner at the top and then come out a little bit fatter at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to attach my little fat legs. Put slip on there. Notice that I'm not really getting a tool, I'm just dipping my project, my pieces right into the slip. That's totally cool. Oop, oop. My leggy fell off. All right, I'm going to get my little fat elephant sitting up right here. The side of these legs are a little abrupt. They go whoop, whoop. So I'm going to smooth in a little bit of clay in there by doing this. If you've got areas that aren't smoothing out nicely, then you can do this. Make a little thin coil, and this is very, very plastic. So I'm going to take a little bit of clay, and I'm going to put it right in here in between those two joints. The joint where the elephant body is, and the joint where the, the leg is. And see how much better that looks when you smooth it out? It looks like a lot more natural. So I would do that to all four of those legs. Next is a horse. A horse, of course. Now the horse is a little bit trickier. A horse, a zebra, a camel. Horse, zebra, camel, anything tall. Llama, anything tall. You're going to put some long legs in there. So you have to make sure that it is definitely thicker, as thick or thicker than your thumb because you're supporting the entire thing off this skinny little clay. So, the way to roll out a long coil is like a so. To make these legs, I'm not going to make balls of clay start to start with. I'm going to make a coil. I'm going to roll that out. Oops, there, move my body. 
And then I'm going to, if I get that coil all the same thickness, then I'm going to cut one leg and I'm just going to go down the length of that coil and keep cutting out legs. That's a little bit too long for that body. I think it needs to be more like there. So I'm going to adjust that. I'm going to make these legs a little bit smaller. Like a so. Oh, a little surgery here. I've got my legs, and I might have a little bit of a hard time getting them to stand because they are very, very plastic clay. So while they're plastic clay, I'm going to add in. I'm going to add my hoof like this. And this is a cool little technique. You just take your clay and just make a little press in here so that you've got a distinct line that comes down lower than the hoof. Press that in. And then, so now I've got my hoof. And at the front of the hoof, it's like two, oh, two big fingers that come in like that. So I'm going to press it here. I'm going to press it down and make it come out a little bit. So now it looks like a hoof. Okay, now I'm going to attach my four legs. And if this is, if it doesn't stand well for you, first of all, it's got to be thick. Notice how thick it is compared to my thumb. It's got to be at least as thick as your thumb because it's just not going to hold up the weight. If it's not standing well, then if it keeps falling and you're sure you've got them thick enough, then you could make the legs one day, let them sit under the plastic overnight, they'll get a little bit harder, and then try it again. So now I score, 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 and slip, 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 and then I attach my feet, now this is going to be the front of my body here. So I want to make sure that my hooves are facing forward. So each one that I put on, I'm going to smooth it in and I definitely want to add a little coil on this one too to smooth it in better between the joint of the leg and the body. So I'm going to take just a little piece of plastic clay and lay it in there and then smooth that in so that I have a nice clean connection there. And that also adds a little bit more depth to the top of that leg which makes it a little bit more realistic. Smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, look at that. Oh. Alright, lay him on his side. He's going through some very delicate surgery right now so he needs to be handled with care. Smooth it in a little bit. Put on my extra piece to smooth it into Djibouti there. And then carefully, I'm going to put the legs down. Put the, you want to make sure that the legs are spread out enough that they are going to give you some stability. If you put them really close to each other, then they're not going to stand well. So make sure that they're spread out enough that they have some stability. If you want it to look like it's a baby who just like hardly can stand, then you spread them out even further because that's what they do. They have a hard time standing. And those are some legs. Now, one more thing on the penguin feet. The penguin feet that I made could also be used for claws. If you are making um, oh, a lizard or another bird with claws, you can make those claws. You can make legs. You can make legs and add those claws on. And those are some examples of legs.